Let's look at another example. Here we have a graph that is increasing and goes through the origin. So the type of function we're looking at is a power function where our power is greater than 1. And which interval or intervals is the function increasing or decreasing? Well, it's increasing for all values of x greater than 0. And as we can see from the shape, the graph is concave up. Something that might model this shape, or that this shape could model, uh, anything that reflects this power function, like the distance it takes to stop your car as a function of its speed, or volumes geomet of geometrically similar objects as a function of their lengths, since the length is one dimension and volume is a three-dimensional measurement, then we get a cubic relationship between the two. Now let's find the particular equation for the function, given that the points 4, 44.8 and 6, 151.2 are on the graph. Once again, we're going to take the same general approach. We're going to start with the general equation for a power function, which is y equals ax to the b. And we'll insert our values for x and y and come up with a system of equations that will allow us to solve for the unknown a and b. So we'll start with 44.8 for our y value is going to equal a times 4 to the b. And then we have 151.2 is equal to a times 6 to the b. Now, I have a system of equations, two equations with two unknowns. And again, we have our approach substitution or elimination. Elimination, if I choose to use elimination, I can accomplish that by dividing one of these equations by the other, and our a values will cancel out in the division process. I'm going to divide 151.2 equals a times 6 to the b by my first equation, 44.8 equals a times 4 to the b. If I divide, my answer turns out to be 151.2 over 44.8 is equal to, since my a's cancel out in the division process, 6 to the b over 4 to the b. But that can be written as the quantity 6 over 4 all raised to the power of b. If I plug, in my, plug this value into my calculator, I get 3.3. 375 is equal to, I'm going to simplify the 6 over 4, 3 over 2 to the b. If I use my calculator to convert this decimal to a fraction, I find out that 3.375 is actually 27 over 8. And that's equal to 3 over 2 to the b. Now, I'll notice that 27 happens to be 3 cubed, and 8 happens to be 2 cubed. So that lets me know that 27, that my b value is actually 3, because 3 halves cubed becomes 27 over 8. Once I have my b value, I can go back and solve for a by using either of my two original equations. I'll use the first one. So that tells me that 44.8 equals a times 4 to the third power, which is 64. So 44.8 equals 64 a, and a equals 44.8 over 64. Using my calculator, I find that a becomes 0.7. That tells me that my final e equation for this graph would be y equals 0.7x cubed. 